Okay, so here's the uh, military Canadian uh, Canadian 101 trailer. Um, this is a 1992 model. It's been modified. Um, I've modified the tongue, added the steps, front and rear. Um, <clears throat> whenever I did the extent of the tongue, I made it so that it could uh, be great for a Jeep with a swing away tire carrier and still clear. Um, the extended tongue length offers uh, a much improved uh, towing and handling characteristics. Um, this trailer has been also upgraded with a sway bar. I'll show some photos of that at a later date. Um, we've got on here, we've got 11 pounds of propane, two deep cycle batteries, 25 gallons of water. Um, there's a rocket pump on that. So just to give you kind of an overview, this is a, a very robust, I've got a buddy that's a welder and he welded this up for me. Um, we got, it looks like uh, about 12.8 volts currently. I haven't charged this thing in a, in a few days. As you can see, we've got uh, two um, diehard platinum deep cycle batteries, uh, a NOCO Gen 2, uh, two battery Genius charger, which is hooked into this outlet here. Here we have two USB outlets. Um, this is just a standard cigarette lighter plug. These are all um, your uh, marine style connectors. Um, we do have a West Marine uh, modified sine wave 1000 watt inverter. So if you need to run something off of 110, which is kind of nice. Um, it's all fused. Um, I'm not a wiring guy, but uh, I tried to do the best I could. Um, I did a good, I think it's worked out really well. This thing's gone uh, probably eight, ten, eight to 10,000 miles with no issues. Um, the, uh, the tank is uh, mounted uh, with straps that are, have been welded and uh, such. Um, it does have the handbrake, which is a nice feature. If you're somewhere, you can park it and handbrake it. Um, this is the tubing the previous owner had done um, with, uh, he's got a tubing bender, so he fabbed all that up. Uh, this thing can accommodate a pretty large tent. As you see here, you've got, you know, probably six inches on this side. Plus back here, you've got another, uh, probably 12 to 14 inches if you remove the firewood rack. Um, it's got heavy duty steel fenders. They've been Linexed on both sides, so it should be for a lifetime of service. Um, the hinges are all, as you can see, we've got grease certs on them, so they're regreasable. Um, I did add this. Um, we were camping one time and the lid actually slid off when it was in the upright position. So I added this detent to keep it from coming off uh, in transit. Um, all the tires are Nitto Terra Grapplers uh, on factory Rubicon wheels that have been powder coated to match. Um, they're 285, 75, 17, so they're basically 34s with a narrow, smaller, a little bit narrow footprint. Um, I did LED lighting. The reverse lights will work if you uh, wire them up as such. Um, I don't currently have them wired. Um, I did have the previous owner, since he was such a good fabricator, um, do a uh, swing away tire carrier for me on heim joints. So that's a nice feature. Um, you get the uh, axe, comes with it, of course. Um, this thing's pretty awesome here. I really enjoy this because I've taken a uh, couple of uh, bundles of firewood and a chainsaw when we've done some two-track trails in Colorado. Um, there is a receiver hitch in the back. Um, depending on where you're at, um, I'll show you whenever I open the lid. Um, I've got a receiver that we've made for this that you can actually um, kind of give yourself four points of contact. You've got the two tires, you've got the front tongue jack, and then you can add a third, a fourth support in the back to give you a very solid platform. So depending on how much uh, kit you have, if you're hunting, um, if you're in an unstable platform area, uh, you can uh, make sure that your uh, your side is good. And it also uh, kind of gives you some uh, peace of mind of, from theft and such. Um, got robust hardware here for clamping. These are adjustable, of course. Um, so if you need a clamp. Um, I use the bolt style locks that are keyed to ignition. So um, you can run just a standard uh, padlock in here and it's keyed to your ignition then, uh, you know, for your vehicle. So you only have to carry one key, which I really like. Um, you're probably wondering on this, uh, this Fiamma 35 Pro rack or awning, uh, what the deal is with this rack. So I built this with Heim joints down here. And then these pins here secure in transit. So you can see uh, when you're going down the road, this thing isn't making contact with the trailer and it doesn't bounce around a lot. And then these upper pins here 
are designed for uh, raising and lowering the um, uh, the awning once you deploy it. So um, I also added a set of hinge pins here on both sides. These are for a table I made. Um, there's two tables. They'll, they'll come out from both sides. So you'll have one that comes out this way and then you'll have the other one that comes out this way. And so you wind up, if you're standing in this position, you have kind of a cooking area. My wife's a, a actually a formally trained chef, so she likes to have a lot of cooking surface and we felt that uh, it would give us a lot more cooking surface under the awning. So if somebody's in the tent, somebody can be out here under the awning cooking breakfast while the other person's sleeping in as long as you've kind of prepared for that. Um, I'll show you here as well. Um, I've got two push buttons here. This third slot's empty, but this one, the red light is the interior light up in the uh, inside the tub. And then this one is for lights underneath. Um, kind of hard to show you with the amount of light that we have in the shop here today. But uh, <clears throat> nice thing about all that is, is that if you're out at a site and you're not sure if there's you know, a critter underneath or where your footing is, you can simply turn on the lights underneath the trailer and it provides ample LED lighting um, so that you've got uh, a comfortable foot, uh, footing wherever you are. Um, the drain for the, uh, for the, uh, the 25 gallon water tank, I built a guarded gusset into the frame so that if you're going down the road, down the trail and there's a sapling, um, it should be able to protect you know, from knocking that spigot loose and anything. And it's just a quarter turn valve, so you simply turn it on and off and uh, you're good to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video. I'm gonna open up everything, kind of deploy the awning and the tent and let you have a look at that. Thanks.